Welcome to another edition of Inside Medicine. I am your host, Doug Geinzer, the CEO of Las Vegas Heels. And we have a very special edition of Inside Medicine for you today. We're going to go back and we're going to recap the 7th Annual Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards that was recently held over at the Four Seasons Hotel. So before we get started, we're going to play just a real quick recap video to give you an idea of the event. So I just want to thank Las Vegas Heels for this amazing opportunity with all these honorees on stage. I want to wish everyone well, continue to do good work in Las Vegas community, and time to go to Disney World. Thank you, woo! Uh, I'm humbly honored that y'all recognized drug and alcohol counselor. Thank you. Thank you so much to Las Vegas Heels. Thank you for including me for this wonderful honor. Uh, shout out to the Perry Foundation and uh, Robert Kidd for nominating me. Uh, I'm really excited to see what the future has to hold for Las Vegas and Las Vegas medical community. Wow, it's just a special night. I was so honored and humbled to be able to see, receive the award this year from the HEALS organization. Um, what we do for medicine here in Las Vegas, what they do, it's once in a lifetime. I am just completely blessed that I was able to have received this honor tonight. I will, of course, cherish it forever. Thank you so much. This was an absolutely wonderful event. Thank you for the honoring Las Vegas Seals. Thank you for helping the medical community and this generation and the future generation of doctors. Thank you so much to the Heels organization and for the UNLV School of Medicine uh, for nominating me for this great award. It's, it's a great honor and I would really like to celebrate our city healing um, from 1 October um, and coming together as a medical community to serve the patients of Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, we are wrapping up the seventh annual Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards with Las Vegas Heels. A very special congratulations to the six honorees tonight. We are so honored to have them be a part of the healthcare community of Las Vegas. We look forward to seeing you all again next year. So welcome back, and for those of you that are new to Inside Medicine, we broadcast live here in the studio every Thursday at 10 a.m. Some of you may be watching us on Facebook Live today as our first time going live. Uh, we also broadcast out to iTunes, Roku, and of course YouTube, and our website, lasvegasheels.org. Inside Medicine brings you the movers and shakers in the healthcare space right here in Las Vegas. Those that are doing innovative things in medicine, those that are in, engaged in medical education, new developments, medical tourism, and just all things about the wonderful world of medicine. But again, today, we're going to talk a little bit about the Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards. It was recently held at the Four Seasons Hotel on October 25th. This is our annual event. This was our seventh annual event. And as in previous years, we uh, brought together about 450 of our local friends, colleagues, and folks that are involved in healthcare. Four Seasons did an absolutely amazing job as always. And it was a great time for us to celebrate the 15 year anniversary of Las Vegas Heels. Hard to believe it's been 15 year years since Las Vegas Heels was started, uh, but it's such a great, great, great event. And um, so a lot of times people ask about the gala, the Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards, and really the namesake of that, Dr. Roy Martin. A lot of folks don't realize that Dr. Martin was the first surgeon to come into Las Vegas back around 1905. Uh, it was an accidental layover. He was on his way to California, and he got off the bus or the train at the time uh, to take a whiz, a little pee break. And when he came back out, uh, he realized that he missed his bus and he didn't have a lot of money in his pocket. So he had to earn some money. He challenged a local kid to a race out on the street. I think he won his first $5. And then Dr. Roy Martin decided that he really liked Las Vegas and decided to stick around. Uh, with that, he opened up the very first hospital in Las Vegas. Hard to believe a hospital in Las Vegas back in 1905. And then he later on went on to open up or start the Las Vegas Hospital Association and he was actually involved in the legislature and even uh, was part of the team that brought together what is now called the, I, the I-15, 
uh, linking together California and Las Vegas. Did a lot. Las Vegas became his home. We actually have a school named after him today, uh, as well as I believe there may be a street or at least a marker out on the street. But uh, our awards are a little bit different than most. Uh, we bring together and we honor somewhere between four to six honorees each year. It's not your typical top doctors event where you recognize a couple hundred of the top doctors in the area. This is more of, a, you know, looking at lifetime achievement, those that contribute absolutely amazing things to the Las Vegas market, those that have left their mark here, they're committed to the Las Vegas market, uh, and are looking to build their legacy in Las Vegas. So this year we brought together uh, some of the most amazing folks. Um, and a lot of people ask, you know, how do you select your honorees each year? And it's a process, and the process has evolved over the years. Uh, but we have a selection committee, and that committee is made up of uh, leaders from the Las Vegas Heels organization, from various task forces, our executive committee, and even some past honorees. And then we solicit nominations. And so the nomination period opens up for 30, 60 days. Uh, we gather up those nominations and literally sit down at the table and begin to identify who those winners are. Uh, there's no clear-cut uh, categories because, again, these are more like Lifetime Achievement Awards. And from those, we identify four to six honorees. It's a very, very competitive process. As a matter of fact, this year we had a gentleman that had been nominated three times before in the past. He finally won, and it was such a great honor to see him up on stage. He was worthy of winning every single year, but the lineup of folks that he was competing with was just tremendous. Um, we're also always open to other ideas of how we should improve the nomination process. Uh, so if you have ideas, please feel free to reach out to me, and we'll bring you into the fold, begin that discussion. Um, so what made this year different, and what was so great about it? So probably the most important thing uh, we hired a professional event planner, Danielle, and she did an utterly, utterly amazing job. Uh, it's nice to have a pro on the staff. We added a red carpet at the front door. So all of our guests uh, were greeted at the front. We had this beautiful red carpet lined up. They were able to go down, get a step and repeat, so they were able to get photos of themselves, able to post it straight there to Facebook or their favorite social media channel, send it out to their friends. Uh, then when you went inside to the, the gala, into the floor of the, the Four Seasons Hotel, every table had this utterly amazing centerpiece. Um, we had a sponsor for these centerpieces this year, and we'll talk a little bit about those sponsors uh, further on in the show. But these centerpieces were drooped with uh, beautiful rings and, and, and these jewels on there. And then um, every one of the centerpieces had a red rose centerpiece on the on the center of the table for all of the honorees. So we had six honorees. These tables really, really stood out. I think the part that got me the most was the napkins and what Danielle was able to do with these napkins. If you look at these napkins, wow. They look like little tuxedos and, you know, really made our honorees and the guests of those honorees feel special. Um, the awards, you know, if you take a look at the awards, they, you know, we only make six of these things, uh, but at the top they had a, a crown jewel uh, that brought together the theme of the event. Everything had this red flair to it because that is the color of a 15-year anniversary. So uh, she really, really pulled that together. I, I You know, Danielle uh, always does an amazing job, and this was just, she went over the top with that. Can express how, how pleased we are with that. On top of that, we had a new MC this year. We had Mr. Steve Shore. And those of you that have been in town for a while know Steve. He's a been a, a television personality for many years. I recall watching him 15 years ago on the news. I went, wow, this man's got such a commanding voice. Uh, and then he went on to work for Cox Communications for many years. And, you know, Steve really did an utterly amazing job bringing together the event. He brought a personal story into each one of the honorees. And you know what? What was probably the most important, he was able to uh, use that commanding voice, that broadcaster voice that Steve has to keep our audience in control, which sometimes it's difficult. You get 450 doctors and healthcare executives that may probably not seen each other since the last gala. Uh, so they get a little chatty and uh, Steve was able to keep that all under control. So it was perfect. The other part that really brought it together this year uh, were, were our sponsors. 
you know, this event could not be possible if it weren't for our sponsors. We have our annual sponsors that come in uh, every year and they get tables and half tables and buy ads inside of the, the, the program book. But this year, uh, with Danielle's assistant, we were able to solicit and garner some event sponsors. And so at the red carpet that I brought up before, we had Silver Summit. Uh, Silver Summit's new to the market. They're owned by Centene. Uh, and so they're one of the new managed care uh, for Medicaid. And so these guys were, were kind enough to, to really sponsor the, the red carpet. Uh, great, great job. They're such good uh, partners of ours. We, we welcome them into this market. With the expansion of Medicaid over the past couple of years, going to over 600,000 folks that are participating in the Medicaid program, it was necessary for us to bring in uh, another managed care provider. And, and we're very grateful for everything that uh, Silver Summit has done for us. Now, Nevada Donor Network. These folks really, really stepped it up. They sponsored not only the centerpieces, those beautiful uh, pieces that I showed you before, but they also sponsored the wine at the tables. Uh, you know, Larry Ruvo and his group over at Southern Glacier Wine and Spirits brought in the wine, but the good folks at Nevada Donor Network sponsored all of that. Uh, very grateful to, to, to those folks. You know, Joe uh, and his team over there, they just, they do a great job. A lot of people don't realize that Las Vegas is the top procurer of organs. So more organs are donated in Las Vegas than any other city in the world. Just think of what that means and, you know, how giving our community has been over the years to, to donate to such a worthy cause. And we're very thankful for, for everything that Nevada Donor Network has done for us. And then finally, the awards were sponsored by Hometown Health. So Hometown Health is known to many folks up in northern Nevada. Uh, they're breaking into the market down here, and they're providing the network for both P3 uh, as well as the good folks over at uh, Hometown House or uh, over at uh, Silver Summit. So they provide that back end network, and very thankful for their support. Uh, they were kind enough; those beautiful awards, they were the, the support of those. So, what sets us apart from all of the others? What sets apart the Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards? It's our honorees. Each year, we pay recognition to four to six of these honorees, and we go out and we film these video vignettes that you're going to see here in a few minutes, and we really dig into the why. What have they done for the Las Vegas community? What have they done to advance the profession? What have they done to inspire excellence in all of us? And our video team that goes out and shoots these videos need to be recognized themselves, MPM and James Shu and Kent, these guys go above the call of duty. They go out on site at the, uh, the, the workplace of our honorees. They go to the homes. They interview the wives. They interview the children. They interview uh, the, the, the peers of these providers that we're honoring. And they just put together these videos that you're going to see in a few minutes. And it's just, it's amazing. These videos really uh, do a great job. So rather than talk about it, we're going to jump right in. Our first honoree of the evening this night uh, was Dr. Lindsay Hansen. So Dr. Lindsay Hansen's been in the community for over 20 years. He started in private practice back in 1997 and specializes in internal medicine. And that's important because we'd like to recognize our primary care physicians. He's the chairman of the Department of Medicine over at Summerlin Hospital. He's the Nevada delegate for the American Medical Directors Association since 2001. He's the medical director for LGen Convalescent. He's the medical director for Marquis Plaza Regency, Creekside Hospice, Hospice del Sol, and Odyssey Hospice. So as you can see, he's very well entrenched in the community. He donates his time to the Board of Examiners for Long-Term Care Administrators, and he shapes his leadership today through long-term care and post-acute caregiver. So let's jump in, and we're going to show you a snippet of the video of Dr. Lindsay Hansen. I am extremely uh, happy, honored, and proud to be here this evening. Dr. Hansen is an excellent physician, very fine man. Uh, he does an awful lot of good things in our community. And I think that he is very deserving of this honor. Well, I decided I wanted to try and become a doctor uh, when I was in high school. My original inspiration was my father, and he was, uh, 
he was, I think, the quintessential physician. Um, and I, in many ways, you know, modeled my professional aspirations after being somewhat more like him. Well, professionally, I look up to the doctors that don't take shortcuts. And I think the devil's in the details. Southern California was always my home. I'm born and raised, never imagined leaving. So I moved to Las Vegas in 1997. And, uh, we just love it out here. And all the people that are most important to me are my wife and my two kids. So we have two children, both of them native of Las Vegas. So Amanda was born at Valley Hospital. And my other child is my son, Tucker, is also joining his sister at Yale uh, this fall. And I'm just very proud to know both of those kids. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations. We're so proud of how you've helped our community. You amaze and inspire us, and we're lucky to be your kids. Love you. Well, so my wife is Stella, uh, and I met uh, during my residency. She was a, an ICU nurse at the hospital where I was training. She's been my right arm. And so when we opened the office, uh, uh, she was there by my side, and she still is every day. Wow, uh, Lindsay, as you know, this came to a big surprise to both of us, and I just wanted to say how proud I am um, for all the work that you've done, well-deserved. Um, uh, you've worked so hard in this community uh, for the last 20 years, and all I can say is really, um, thank you, actually, for being part of, of the medical community and, and making a difference. So that was just a brief snippet of the video of Dr. Lindsay Hansen. If you want to catch the whole video, you could do that by going either to our website, lasvegasheals.org, or to our YouTube channel and simply click on the 2018 gala playlist. And you'll be able to view not only Dr. Lindsay Hansen's video, but all of the videos. Uh, next up, we had Dr. Rupesh Parikh. And Dr. Parikh is from Comprehensive Cancer Centers of Nevada. What's unique is uh, you'll learn that he went blind as a young child, and that's what brought him into medicine. His philosophy is to take care of the patient first and the disease second. He's highly re regarded both locally and nationally. He was recently appointed the practice president at Comprehensive Cancer Centers of Nevada. He's developed new pathways and targeted therapies. He's also the principal investigator for many of Comprehensive Cancer's uh, clinical trials. He's an adjunct assistant professor at Toro University, and he's a clinical assistant professor for the new UNLV School of Medicine. Probably what's critical as well, he is the chief of staff for Dignity Health, St. Rose Dominican's both their Siena campus and their Rose de Lima campus. So let's watch a brief segment of the video for Dr. Parikh. What motivated me to be a physician was probably my childhood experiences. When I was growing up in India, about three or four years old, ended up blind for a period of about three months. That nurturing attitude that the doctors took towards me trying to get my eyesight back when they told my parents that I would probably never see again, the recovery from that one eye at a time led me to the passion of wanting to be a doctor. So medical school, I had an adventure. Went to med school for two years in the West Indies. Had an amazing opportunity to go to London to do my third year of medical school. And I finished up doing my clinicals at USC in Southern California. So when I was doing my residency uh, in medicine, um, my dad got diagnosed with first prostate cancer and then lung cancer. Uh, I saw the compassion that his oncologist had for him. And I think I just wanted to be in that field, wanting to be a part of somebody's life. Going around the world um, to do medicine has taught me many different sides of how to look at medicine. It drove me to my current state of wanting to do better than that. So when the opportunity came here uh, to work for Conference of Cancer Centers, uh, then it was too good to pass up. If you ask my family, I'm always at work. My staff knows I never say no to a patient, so if they call and they need to be seen, we find a place to see them. The people that are most important to me, um, I have to start by my family. Uh, without them, I wouldn't succeed. Uh, it is all them. They're my rock, they're my everything. Congratulations on this award. You are the hardest working person I know. I am very honored and proud to call myself your daughter, and I am even more proud of you. So very many congratulations, and I love you very much. I am so proud of you for achieving this amazing award. I don't know anyone else who deserves it more than you do. You're such an inspirational person, a fantastic dad, and an amazing doctor. 
I am so proud of you and I love you very much. Hi Papa, I just want to say congratulations on yet another amazing award. I know you work incredibly hard for everything that you achieve. You've given me big shoes to fill as the next Perique doctor, but it's because of you that I'm chasing after my dreams. You're my biggest inspiration, my biggest supporter, and my biggest motivator. Thank you for everything and I love you. Rupesh is one of the most hardest working persons I know and his drive and motivation to do better and be better every single day is infectious. Rupesh, I love you. I am so proud of you. My favorite place in the entire world is to be right next to you, right by your side. And congratulations in the best way possible. Continue the greatness. And just as with the other videos, if you wanted to catch the full episode of Dr. Parikh's video that was broadcast at the Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards, you could go to lasvegasheels.org or to our YouTube channel and simply click click on the 2018 Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards playlist. Next up, we had Dr. Mark Winkler, one of the founding partners of Steinberg Diagnostic Medical Imaging, SDMI. And Dr. Winkler was a three honor award or degree person from Brown University. He did his internship at Stanford University Medical Center, where I believe he met Dr. David Steinberg. And he was one of the first MRI trained fellows in the entire world. He's the clinical director of the MRI research facility at the UCSF and a very well recognized neuroradiologist. Uh, worked to improve MRI sequencing with each, sought after by many companies such as Canon Medical Systems USA to consult, and he's got a passion for cutting edge technology. Let's go ahead and watch a little clip of Dr. Winkler. When I was young, being a blue collar kid, I thought there were only two real jobs in life. One either became a lawyer or became a physician. The crystallizing moment in my life when I decided to become a physician was when I had the opportunity to meet a group of the most prestigious lawyers in the state of Rhode Island through the debate team. They only talked about the economics of their profession. And at that moment, I realized I wanted something a little bit more human and decided that I was going to become a physician. I went to Brown University in my home state of Rhode Island, and there I got an undergraduate, a graduate, and a medical degree. From there, I had the opportunity to go to San Francisco, where I met my best friend and partner, David, and did my radiology residency fellowship and stayed on staff running the MR research and development facility as well as being a neuroradiologist at the county hospital. I actually stumbled into radiology. Uh, one summer I was looking for employment. I tried to get a research grant, which I didn't get, and instead I was offered a job doing research in nuclear cardiology. Uh, there I met a brilliant young Israeli physicist who told me about this up and coming technique that could eventually become something in radiology called MRI, and thereupon I decided to embark upon a career of radiology. I moved to Las Vegas to rejoin my radiology residency friend, uh, David. Uh, we both decided we wanted to move on to private practice and his father, Leon, offered us the opportunity to take over the new office that was going to be built at Maryland Parkway. Coming to Las Vegas gave me the opportunity to bridge my academic and clinical careers. While here, I kept my academic appointment at UCSF and with the research and development facility for more than a decade. That allowed me to continue to research, publish, lecture around the world, but at the same time, bring these new technologies to Las Vegas for the people who live here. Dr. Winkler, from my entire MRI staff and myself, congratulations on winning this award. We're all very happy for you. Big shout out to Dr. Mark Winkler. I love to see good things happen to good people. This is one of those times. Congratulations on the Las Vegas Heels Award. Great job. It's my pleasure to congratulate Dr. Mark Winkler on his award. This has been a long time coming. I couldn't be happier for you. Congratulations, Mark, from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations, Dr. Winkler. Congratulations, Dad. And just as with the other videos, you could catch the full episode of Dr. Winkler up on our YouTube channel. Uh, simply click on the 2018 gala playlist, or you could always go to lasvegasheels.org and see the entire video up there as well. Uh, our next, our fourth honoree was Dr. Eddie Liu, one of uh, only a handful 
of board-certified vascular surgeons right here in Las Vegas. He's an advocate of promoting endovascular procedures and treatment of vascular disease. He's brought many, many innovation and innovative techniques in regard to vascular surgery, surgery to Las Vegas. We're very, very, very uh, lucky to have Dr. Lou here. He is a uh, clinical assistant professor for UNSOM, and he is also an adjunct clinical professor for Toro University. So you see a lot of these honorees like to give back and teach. So let's go ahead. We're going to play a brief segment of Dr. Lou's video. I grew up in a physician's household. My father is an obstetrician, so I would say my entire life I knew I was going to become a physician. I attended the University of Vermont at medical school. After that, I came to Las Vegas in 1994 to do my general surgery residency, and I started my practice in 2001 here in Las Vegas and have not left since then. I went into medical school knowing I was going to be a surgeon, day one. My mentor in medical school was a physician named Dr. Stephen Shackford, who was a vascular surgeon. Following him around, seeing the complexity of the surgeries that he did, drew me to the field of vascular surgery that only grew when I did residency at UNLV. And after that, given the opportunity to train with a legend such as Dr. DeBakey in Houston, there was no doubt that this was the field that I wanted to do and I wanted to make sure that it was something that I really enjoyed. I have a very tremendous, great family, a loving wife who I would not be able to be where I am without her support. And I have twin boy and girl who are now in the second grade. And to me, they're the three most important things in my life. And the fourth would of course be our dog. If my schedule permits, I enjoy driving my kids to school. And depending on what it is, either I'm seeing patients all day long or else I'm doing surgeries all day long. It's very rare to get me to go out because for me, family is first and foremost the, my priority. I am so proud that my husband is being recognized for the hard work and commitment that he has put into his work. Uh, the level of commitment that he has for his family is the same and that's what makes him an amazing husband and dad. We love you, Daddy. When I found out I was being honored for this award, of course, I was shocked, um, I was humbled, and I had a huge smile come across my face. And I think the organization does wonderful things for the community, and to be recognized for what I've done through the years is a very gratifying and experience that is, I'm really at a loss of words for them. What an amazing opportunity for Dr. Liu to train with a legendary Dr. DeBakey down at the Houston, Texas uh, Medical Center. Couldn't imagine what that would be like to be able to be with somebody so uh, that's known for his trade. If you want to catch Dr. Liu's entire video, you could go to YouTube and to the Las Vegas Heels channel. Simply click on the 2018 uh, gala playlist and you could see Dr. Liu's video as well as any of the others. Next up, we've got Dr. Deborah Cool. She's legendary in this market. She was on site at UMC for the October 1 shooting and was one of the trauma surgeons that really got us through that horrible, horrible night. Dr. Cools is a professor of trauma and critical care uh, inside of the new UNLV School of Medicine. She's a trauma surgeon, she's a general surgeon, and she's president of the Nevada chapter of the American College of Surgeons. She's chair of the American College of Surgeons Committee on the Trauma Injury Prevention and Control Committee. And she's traveled all around the world sharing her story of how you can build better trauma centers and her experience with October 1st. Let's go ahead and watch a brief video of Dr. Deborah Cools. I would say that was my earliest thought terms of what I wanted to be was was a doctor I would say that my identity is pretty pretty wrapped up in being a doctor it was always my dream I took surgery first because I didn't think I would want to do surgery but I fell in love with it and nothing else really compared so I did a trauma surgery and critical care fellowship at shock trauma at the University of Maryland and actually has a lot to do with why I'm in Las Vegas. They had a unique setup. 
I set out looking for a job at a place like that and it was in 2000, uh, came here for an interview, fell in love with it. I traveled around the world uh, when I was age 21. It was, it's one of the most important things that I've done in my, uh, in my life. We realized most people um, in many, many countries would do anything to be able to move to the U.S. And I think it was a wake-up call to go on and do something meaningful with our, with our lives. When 9-11 hit, um, I was one of the surgeons in our hospital and Las Vegas was rumored originally to be a possible target for that initial terrorist activity. So I took what knowledge I had then and tried to put it to use in case we were really facing a mass casualty event. So I've taught a lot of disaster courses, um, but I have never really been in a disaster like anything like this until, until 1 October. Nothing that I've ever seen before, but something I've trained for. We had never seen that many patients um, who were injured in that way. While we see a lot of innocent people on a daily basis, and we're a very busy trauma center, so we see a lot of gunshot wounds come in, a lot of people injured by other mechanisms. But to see this number of people who were innocent, out to have a good time, and someone was trying to kill as many people as possible. This was carnage with a really different intent. I think overall our team did a really, really good job. Taking care of the patients was, um, was different in some ways because they all were emotionally traumatized as well as physically traumatized. The selfless behavior we saw was just you know, unremarkable. The patients would tell us about um, strangers coming up to them and helping them. On every level there was really what I would call selfless behavior. And as a matter of fact, the nurses report that when they tried to give patients pain medicine, they would say, you know what, yes I'm hurting, but that person over there looks like they're hurting worse than I am. So Las Vegas is blessed to have Dr. Deborah Cools in our community. Uh, with her leadership, uh, we were able to get through the horrendous night of 1 October. Uh, she has spoken all around the country and really brought a lot of attention to Las Vegas and the fact that we have exceptional health care and an exceptional trauma delivery system right here in our town. And we're very thankful to have her, and we were, uh, it was great to honor Dr. Cools for everything that she's done. You want to see her video? Go to LasVegasHeals.org, or you could go to our YouTube channel and look up the playlist for the 2018 gala. Our final honoree of the night was our only non-physician honoree. It's the second year that this has happened. Last year we honored Bob Cooper, the founder of Las Vegas Heels, but somebody that's really changed healthcare as we know it in Las Vegas, just as I think you'll find that Dave Marlin is doing. Dave is not a doctor, but as Steve Shore so eloquently put in his comments, he's a doctor at heart. He touches one of the most at-risk communities in Las Vegas, those that are addicted to substances that they should not be. And every single day, he treats patients, and he has cured hundreds and hundreds of those that battle these addictions. He's Dave is the president and the co-founder of Solutions Recovery. He's formed several nonprofit organizations to help him out with his personal mission of eradicating as much addiction behavior as possible. He's on the board of directors for Help of Southern Nevada, as well as 10,000 Kids Foundation, and he has served on the Governor's Substance Abuse Working Group and the Governor's Rural Meth Action Team. Let's go ahead and watch a brief video about Dave Marlin. Every day I wake up and I'm thrilled to come to work to help people get their lives back from drugs and alcohol. Just over 13 years ago, I founded Solutions Recovery. It is a drug and alcohol rehab in Sin City, Las Vegas. We help people transform their lives. We help people get their lives back from drugs and alcohol uh, every day. And I'm really glad that since addiction, the number one health problem in our community, 
uh, is, is being acknowledged and recognized as a, as a health problem. I became a, a licensed therapist. Uh, they told me I had to engage in self-care because we can't help others if we don't take care of ourselves. So I, I love fitness. I love to get outside. I have an amazing wife, uh, Carolina, and I'm honored to be her husband. Um, I love her with all my heart. Congratulations, my love, for earning the Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Award. The boys and I are extremely proud of you. Mwah. I, I'm most proud that, uh, you know, I have two sons that I have an active role in their life, that I have a good relationship with. They're both, uh, they're both men of integrity. Alcoholism is a tricky disease, and it doesn't just get solved with a pharmacological intervention, or behavioral intervention, or recovery interventions, or court interventions. Each person comes in with their own set of unique challenges, and developing a program to help them uh, is, is really key. We've developed things like the Solutions Wellness Campus. We do family day in here. Uh, families have an important role in helping uh, families get better. It's not just healing the addict, but uh, it's healing the whole family. I love when it's full and the energy is just uh, about recovery. It's really special, it's a special place a yoga studio, a boxing gym, a coffee shop, a salon, all kinds of services that may seem atypical for drug and alcohol treatment, but it ends up creating a warm and welcoming place where people are joyous and happy about being clean and sober. So as you can see, Dave Marlin is just an amazing individual, somebody that is committed to eradicate addiction from so many lives and he makes such a difference in this community and we were uh, honored to be able to recognize him for that at our gala if you want to see dave's entire video you could go to our youtube channel and simply click on the 2018 uh, gala playlist or you could go up to lasvegashills.org so i want to thank everybody that's been with us today it's been a longer episode of inside medicine but I think it was important that we pay tribute to those that we honor just a few weeks ago. As you could see, this gala, uh, the Inspired Excellence and in Healthcare Awards Gala, is near and dear to my heart. It's near and dear to the entire community's heart. And next year, we'll be bringing it back uh, at the Four Seasons. And hopefully next year, we'll sell out again as we have in the past years. Uh, if you have your calendar in front of you, go ahead and you could save the date. We've already selected that. The 8th Annual Inspired Excellence in Healthcare Awards will be held on Thursday, October 24th, the day before Nevada Day, which is our traditional day. We'll be back at the Four Seasons Hotel. Uh, they just do such a great job of delivering the highest level of service, and we look forward to seeing everybody there. And for those of you that uh, are regulars with Inside Medicine, we look forward to seeing you on the next edition. Once again, I'm Doug Geinzer, and I look forward to seeing you soon.